Hey guys, it's Mike Thurston here and we are in Newcastle upon Tyne at the Aurora Athletic Studio. Today I'm going to take you through the first of my five a day workout which is going to be legs. Get the nasty one out of the way first. For me it's the toughest workout of the week, I think it is for most people. You have to go into the gym with the right mindset I find. You have to give everything you can possibly give, especially if you want these pins to grow, they're not going to grow by themselves. Today we're going heavy, as heavy as we can whilst maintaining proper posture form and maintaining tension across the desired muscles which we're trying to target. So today we're going to do a combination of quads and hamstring. I've thrown in a few supersets and drop sets just to make it as nasty as possible. First exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. One foot in front of the other, placing the majority of the tension on my front leg, going down nice and slowly and then driving back up to the top without locking out keeping the tension in my quad throughout the entire set. I'm going to be doing 12 reps on each leg. So instead of doing one set and resting, I'm going to do one leg, 30 seconds rest, other leg, 30 seconds rest, back to the other leg, 30 seconds rest, and so on until I've done three sets in total. I'm trying to isolate my quads with this particular exercise. As you begin to fatigue, you may find you're forced to kind of lean forward and your glute might activate a little bit more. So the idea is, to lean back as much as possible with your chest out and just sink down into it. Make sure that your knee doesn't go too far forward in front of your front foot. Second exercise, another nasty one. Uh, we combined front squats into back squats. When I did the front squats, first of all, I used straps because for me and for a lot of other people, it's generally a lot more comfortable to hold the bar in that position when compared to using just your wrists. So I wrap a strap around the barbell so I can hold it nice and tight, elbows high and maintain a solid posture throughout. I also like to do it with my heels elevated because this allows me to keep my spine upright. So by keeping my back upright, I'm gonna place more of the tension within my quads and put less pressure on my lower back and hamstrings. So the idea is to just exhaust yourself with the front squats doing about eight reps, placing the bar back on the rack, having five to 10 seconds rest, then straight into that back squat and then going pretty much to failure. Again, as heavy as we can lift whilst maintaining the tension across the desired muscles and maintaining proper form. So you don't want your knees to be wobbling too far back and forward and you don't want to be leaning forward too much either. You just want to keep a solid, solid posture and technique. The next exercise is the lying dumbbell leg curl. It's a little bit more challenging for first timers because it it's a completely different strength curve when compared to using um, the, the lying leg curl machine. At least the first half of the rep is going to be extremely challenging due to the force of gravity pulling down on the dumbbell. As the dumbbell comes higher up, up to 90 degrees, it's going to get a little bit easier. However, at that point, you have to place 100% of your efforts on contracting your hamstrings as much as possible. So you're going to bring the dumbbell up, squeeze the hamstrings and then slowly lower it back down. So I'll do anywhere between four to five sets of 10 reps. Next exercise was another superset, Romanian deadlifts with the barbell. Superset with step-ups. With the Romanian deadlifts, using straps just because I don't really want to be thinking about my forearm strength and grip strength. I want to be focusing completely on my hamstrings and keeping proper form. When you're not trying to pull the weight up with your back, if you have the intention of thrusting forward with your hips, and thrusting back with your hips, you're going to engage your glutes and hamstrings a hell of a lot more. When doing step ups, do you want to really focus on leaning forward and imagine you're trying to crush that box with your front leg because we are trying to isolate the front quad muscle during this exercise. Don't cheat and make it easy for yourself. You want to make it as hard as possible. The next one we did was the heel elevated dumbbell squats. With this one, I'm keeping my heels elevated about two inches off the ground and I'm 
keeping the dumbbells back by my hips and I'm trying to keep my spine as upright as possible as I go down. I'm going 50 kilos, I'm going to go for 10 reps. I'm going to do four sets of this and then on the last set, most of the time I'll do a drop set so I will really just go to complete failure on that last set. Went on to dumbbell walking lunges. There's two ways you can do walking lunges. If I keep my spine upright, you are able to place more tension on your quad. If you're doing a lunge and you lean forward more, you're gonna recruit more of your glute and hamstring. You know, I'll mix it up every now and then. I feel as though I've got a pretty big ass, so I don't need to work that anymore. We'll stick onto working the quads. So I keep my back upright, my chest out. Shoulders back. So for this, I will be doing 12 reps one way, short rest, and then 12 reps back. The last one, just to finish it off, we'll do a bit of calf work. Uh, we're gonna do standing barbell calf raises. standing on a platform which is about two inches off the ground so that allows me to get a full range of motion on the calf muscle so when I'm going to the top of the movement I want to be as high as I can be squeezing my calves as much as possible and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom stretching the calves and then coming back up so the key is not to bounce up and down and not to use a short range of motion when you come to the top you want to get as high as you possibly can so that extra inch really does count. For this one, we'll be doing 30 reps. On the 10th rep, we're gonna hold the contraction for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna do another 10 reps, hold the 20th contraction uh, for 10 seconds, and then another final 10 reps, and on the last one, hold for 10 seconds. So that's leg day done. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be bringing you my second workout, which is gonna be chest and delts. So I'll see you all tomorrow.